In the beginning, there was Brahma, the white-bearded creator. And Brahma, from his mind, created. He made the heavens for the gods, and the earth for the mortals, and the underworlds for the demons. were born eight brothers. After all this work, Brahma was thirsty. And so he created the Amrita, the nectar, the ambrosia. And he drank. And he did not stop drinking until the white liquid poured from his mouth and splashed on the ground. And from this white pool was born a cow with eyes like the sun and the moon, with legs like the mighty mountain. With shoulders like fire and wind. This was the mother of all the cows. From her flowed the milk which nourished the world. The cow of plenty. The sacred cow. The precious cow. She spent her days happily, peacefully grazing in the heavens. Those eight brothers were bored. They saw the sacred cow. And the eldest brother said, Come on, nobody's watching. Let's steal her. <laughs> Let's steal the sacred cow. <laughs> and so they did. They lifted the sacred cow up, upside down, onto their backs with her legs sticking up in the air. down by the river, waiting for them, was Brahma, the all-seeing, all-knowing Brahma. How dare you insult me? I will curse you all to a terrible fate. You will be reborn on earth as humans. And you, he pointed to the eldest brother. You will live the longest life of all. Well, let's leave those eight brothers to their curse for now. And let us ourselves travel down to the earth.
you never ever question me. Fine, he said, anything for you. And they were married. And Shiva, they were happy. And before long, her belly swelled, and she gave birth to a little baby boy. The man held his son and gazed at his wife and felt like the happiest man on earth. But that night, he woke up to find his wife and child had left the room. He heard the sound of the doors opening downstairs. He gazed out of the window, and in the light of the full moon, he saw his wife carrying a bundle down to the fast-flowing river. Brahma 
to be reborn to a life of suffering as humans. I took pity on them. I sent them all back to the heavens as quickly as I could. But this eighth child will now have to live a long and painful life as your son. I am Gunga, the river goddess, goddess of transformation. I am no longer yours. I never was. But don't be too sad. There is nothing we can do to change what is destined to be. All we can do is find peace in the truth. And with that, she dove into the waters and was gone. seven brothers up there in the heavens, well they promised never ever to steal the sacred cow again. 